What's the most powerful weapon in Battlefield 3? The correct answer is, of course, the mouse. It's not the guns itself, it's the way you control the guns. But what settings, what attachments does your mouse need? In this particular video, I am going to be looking at all of the mouse settings, the mouse sensitivity, um, the mouse options um, in Windows 7 uh, to try and give you the perfect setup for this most vital tool in Battlefield 3. So let's get learning. Well, greetings guys. Today I would like to speak to you about your mouse. If you're a tennis player, you've got the racket. If you're a golfer, um, then you've got the club. And if you are a Battlefield 3 player on PC, then of course you have the mouse. And it is as important for you to know your mouse inside out, how it's going to respond when you turn left and right, how it's going to respond when you move up and down. It is important for you to know that inside out as it is for a sportsman to know their club or their racket or, 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 or their cue or whatever. And we need to make sure we've got it set up um, to best benefit us and to best benefit um, uh, things like our accuracy. Now there's a few things we're going to be having a look at today uh, to try and help your, you guys get your mouse set up correctly. Now I've recently changed the way that mine is set up. So if I just put um, my, my mouse hand in the bottom right hand corner there. Now I was running uh, quite uh, with a quite a sensitive um, mouse which meant that turning around uh, didn't require much mouse movement at all. Um, I could actually kind of turn around in the space of moving about that that would have probably turned me around 360, whereas actually it's only 180 now. Um, but the reason I've decided to adjust was because I was struggling a little bit with my recoil. If I just look down the uh, look down the sights, um, I was finding that when I adjusted my recoil, um, you probably even can't see this, but as that's as I'm looking up and down on the screen, I'm having to do a very very tiny movement with my mouse. Um, I don't even know if that's going to be detectable to you, but my mouse is shifting forward just a little bit. But the problem was that movement was so small, I was finding it hard to be consistent. You know, what's the difference between a movement that's incredibly tiny and a movement that's simply tiny? Um, and I was finding I couldn't get consistent um, recoil. Um, uh, recoil compensation. But on the other side, if you put your mouse uh, sensitivity to uh, to low on the opposite part of it, if someone starts shooting me from behind and I need to spin, I don't want to be kind of having to move the mouse in little bits all the way kind of around to, to actually face them. You, the, tr the trick is when you get your mouse up is getting that balance between being able to flip around quickly to see anyone coming. Um, you want to be able to do that 180 basically instantly um, but you also want to be able to compensate for that recall with a movement that is large enough um, for you to try and be consistent now as I said my, I have literally adjusted my mouse um, yesterday so I'm still adapting um, myself to getting used to this mu this new um, mouse movement but I can instantly feel that because I have um, allowed given myself a little more freedom in terms of pulling down the mouse a slightly bigger movement um, it is it is easier so I feel that I have um, made the right choice now let's have a look at what we need to do to get the, our mouse working correctly first thing head into your options menu and check that you haven't that you've got raw mouse input on uh, because we need to get rid of mouse acceleration now what mouse acceleration is is the is it something that's kind of in lots of versions of Windows to try and help you use desktop programs um, because when you move the mouse slowly, it's assuming that you're trying to do very, very tiny little kind of movements. So I'll just show you here, like the kind of mo moving my mouse kind of under this menu. When I'm moving it slowly, the desktop window assumes that I want to move my mouse just, just very, very small, using precision movements. When I move the mouse quickly, the uh, the the the, uh, the software is going to assume that I want to move my mouse. Um, a, a, a far greater distance and so it puts on something called mouse acceleration that basically means instead of just moving say that amount if I move really fast it's actually going to move that amount with exactly the same movement it's going to move um, with exactly the same distance it's going to move further if I have um, mouse acceleration on if I've moved faster but we need to turn that off because in a game like Battlefield I want to know that if I move my mouse one inch to the left whether I move, move at that speed or whether I move at that speed I need to know that I'm going to get Get to exactly the same place because otherwise you're going to find it uh, target acquisition uh, a lot trickier. So go into options, turned raw mouse input on. Secondly, come out of the game um, and look at your desktop 
and there's a few other options here that you need to do to make sure that um, you're getting a good uh, that to make sure that the mouse input is off. If you go uh, start menu devices and printers, this will be slightly different if you if you're not using Windows 7. Um, find your mouse, and in my case, it's this Logitech G9X. Click on mouse settings, and they've helpfully put a little picture of the mouse next to it, just in case you haven't quite worked out that that's mouse settings. And in pointers, no, sorry, in pointer options it'll say select pointer speed. You want to put this right in the middle. Not letting it slow down slightly, not letting it speed up slightly. It needs to be right in the middle. And if you count across, it's 10 across, so stick it on 5. You've also got an option here called enhance pointer precision. This is basically a way of basically saying pointer precision actually makes it less um, precise in because it adds on um, that acceleration. So you need to make sure that that option is un checked and then hit OK when you've done that. Now if you've got a gaming mouse or any kind of software that came with your mouse you also want to check that as well. In my case it's going to be the Logitech gaming software but it could be a Razer software, whatever it is. Go into the settings of that mouse and again have a look to check that anything labelled acceleration or enhanced pointer precision or anything that sounds like that is 100% absolutely off. So when you go back into, uh, when you go back into the game um, you're going to be getting um, a good, solid, um, consistent movement uh, for each distance that you do, you do. Okay, so get that off. Now we also uh, want to have a look in our mouse settings at um, the the DPI sensitivity and the polling rate. Now there is not as consistent answers here. You definitely definitely want mouse mouse sensitivity off, um, but here you've got a little bit more freedom. Uh, the polling rate basically asks it, it decides how many times your mouse per second will kind of check to see if it has been moved. Um, you want this fairly high, um, and I've set mine on the maximum my mouse will do, which is a thousand. You probably don't want it on say like you know two thousand three thousand if you've got like a really really mega expensive mouse that has something like that um, but at the same time you definitely don't want it down here on like 200 250 um, if you've got a very slow computer or a computer that's struggling to run battlefield there could be an ever so slight um, frame rate loss here but it's going to be negligible because um, most of this is, is handled internally with the mouse so um, put that on a thousand if you've got it secondly the dpi sensitivity levels this basically the dpi stands for dots per inch i think it is or dots pick yeah, I think it's dots per inch, uh, which is basically um, talk, talking about how it, it, it decides how quickly the mouse pointer is going to move across. Now, I always run mine on this this orange one here, which is um, eighteen thousand. Now, mine is because mine is a a gaming mouse. I can ma I can actually switch mine. Uh, back, back and forward in in game. Um, so if I wanted to suddenly have more precision to be a sniper, I could flick it down here. If I suddenly wanted to uh, grab a shotgun and start running around the inside of some crates on close quarters, I, I can flip it up. But to be honest, again, it, it, to get to help you get that kind of consistent response from your mouse, I would pick a setting and leave it. Um, 1800 seems to be something that a lot of players play at. I play at 1800. It works well for me. Um, so I would suggest you, you, you go for something similar. So that's our mouse set up. Now the other thing that we need to do, which is really, really important if we go back into game, is then adjust the mouse sensitivity in game. If you have a look into control, you'll see there's an option here called mouse sensitivity. And as you can see, mine is really, really low. It looks like it's really, really, really low, but it's it's not it's not low at all. It's I can I can spin fast, I can run fast, I can face in any direction. Um, but I what I have got is I have got a nice distance for me moving my, my hand across. If you look at my hand there, for when I'm doing my 360, um, it's it, it's basically moving me myself about halfway across. Um, the mouse mat. So if I look at if I look at the ammo crate and go all the way back around, um, it's it's taking me maybe half to the thirds of the way across. Now you want this to be um, consistent across your game. So we're going to use the power of uh, awesome pink ruler. Now I was watching some um, other videos um, for other tubers that have made videos kind of looking at this, and uh, I think Level Cap recommended four and a half inches. Um, I've seen other uh, I've seen other pl other players recommend um, five. I've seen other players recommend three. Um, my I was running at about three inches for that 360. I was running at three inches, which gave me brilliant control of looking that way, then quickly looking that way, then quickly looking that way. But I'd lost it when it came to that that little kind of precision movement um, for compensating for the recall. 
called. So I have um, sheep levels caps and I ha sheeped levels cap um, s settings and stuck up my mouse there and kept adjusting that mouse setting until I had four and a half inches um, for going all the way round to back where I started. And I literally just did that by going into the options. And I actually used the arrow keys because, um, because then you can do, you can do tiny little precision movements on here. And you, if you're watching on a high enough resolution, you can probably see that adjusting slightly. But if you use the arrow keys to move yourself up and down to mouse sensitivity and just go up and down maybe two or three at a time until you find yourself getting roughly to the right area and then just do one at a time until you can get the one that you're happy with. Um, if you think you're the kind of player that, that needs to work on compensating for the recoil maybe go for something where you can have a little a bigger movement to compensate for recoil as you get used to it if you're the kind of player that's actually pretty good at that and actually you, you want the faster reactions then make it slightly more sensitive um, so you can so you can flip around quicker either way there's no right or wrong but you do need to have set your mouse up right and because the advantage of having your mouse set up well is that when you then go on to another game be it battlefield 4 far cry fallout whatever you can then set your mouse up in the same way uh, you can just um, stick the ruler in the way and you stick, stick the ruler now next to your mouse and just adjust the sensitivity settings in that game um, until you've actually got it um, um, set up correctly. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. I'm going to be doing another video uh, with my little mouse hand in my mouse hand in the corner. Um, I'm going to be uh, doing a, an, my next kind of training with Addy video, having a look at um, how I move the mouse uh, during game, and also to kind of help me look back at my video, look back at my own hand, and seeing when I remember to, co to compensate for recoil and uh, when I don't, because that is that is something that I am still working on. Please do share in the comments section uh, what mouse settings you use, uh, what kind of distance do you have for your 360 turn, your DPI settings, all, all that kind of stuff, um, so I can kind of see um, if I'm kind of average or more sensitive or less sensitive than the average player. If you found the video useful, then please do give it a like and subscribe if you want to see Battlefield 3 tutorials as well as Let's Plays, guides, um, uh, for loads of other stuff as well. Thank you so much for watching, take care, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.